Hello everyone and welcome back to program with Miss Arissa from Melbourne Family Resource Center. It's so nice to see you here again. Let's wave our hands and sing hello to each other. Are you ready? Come on, wave those hands back and forth, back and forth. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Bonjour everybody, let's roll our arms, roll our arms, roll our arms. Bonjour everybody and roll your arms. How are you today? Me, how everybody and clap your hands, clap your hands. Clap your hands, ni hao everybody, and clap your hands. How are you today? Bunny come everybody, move side to side, side to side, side to side. Bunny come everybody, move side to side. How are you today? One more, kumusta everybody, and shout. That's right, hooray! Shout hooray! Shout hooray! Kumusta everybody and shout! That's right! Hooray! How are you today? I hope you're feeling very happy today, my friends, or feeling very good. Since we are talking about the earth this week, let's start off with a craft. What you will need is blue construction paper, a black marker, some glue, and scrap pieces of paper. If you have green, that would be awesome. You could also use white paper and color the pieces green, whatever you like. So we'll put these to the side for now. And what we're gonna do is get our blue paper and we're gonna draw a circle because the earth is a big sphere, a big circle shape. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be just like that. The earth is made up of land and water. And what color is water? That's right, water is blue. So this will be the base of our craft. And if you'd like, you can even get scissors and cut out your circle. But I wanna do that later. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our scrap pieces of green and the green is gonna represent the land. And what we're gonna do, which is the fun part is Get our glue. Spread our glue all over in the circle. And then get our green pieces and rip them, stick them on to make the earth. You can do big pieces like this one, or small pieces like this, stick them on. If you like to use scissors, you can cut your scrap pieces of paper also, whatever you like. Make sure all the pieces stay in the line. Once you're happy with how your earth looks, I'm actually going to turn my paper and at the top, I am going to write earth. Can you guess what letter does earth start with? 
This letter makes the sound e eh, e eh, e eh, or e. What letter is it? That's right. It's the letter e. Now, can you say out loud the other letters that Miss Arissa is writing?
let's get ready for our story. Come on. And you know what? Let's make sure all 10 are out. Let's count them. Show me number one. One little two. Little three little fingers. Four little. Yep. Five little six little fingers, seven little eight little nine little fingers, ten little fingers, ready for our story. All right, now that they're all out, open, shut them, open, shut them, do a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Big Earth, Little Me, written by Tom Wiley, illustrated by Kate Endall. I can help the earth. I can keep my yard clean. What is the boy doing? What is he picking up from the bushes? That's right. He's getting the garbage and throwing it in the trash bin. I can recycle. Do you see the recycling bin there, my friends? What color is the recycling bin? That's right, it's blue. This is the bin where we put paper and plastic and cardboard so it can be reused. While I'm brushing my teeth, I can turn off the water. Do you turn off the water when you brush your teeth? I can use both sides of the paper. By doing this, we are saving the trees. Because guess what? Paper comes from trees. What do you see in the drawings? Right here, Miss Arissa sees a bright yellow sun. What about you? I can help in the garden. How many flowers do you see in the garden? There's two. One, two. I can also turn off the lights. And I can use a lunch box when I eat my lunch. And together, we can save the world. The end. What are some ways that you save the world when you're at home? As you saw in that story, my friends, there are many different ways to save energy and protect the earth. We can turn off the lights when we're done in the room. We can reuse and recycle materials. We can compost food. We can also garden, turning off water when we're done using it to brush our teeth or wash our hands. But most importantly, one of the best ways to help protect our earth is to make sure we are also protecting water. As we know, our earth is made up of lots of water and lots of land. Without water, we wouldn't have a lot of the plants that we have. We wouldn't even have anything to drink. So let's get into another story and learn how we can become water protectors. We are water protectors, written by Carol Lindstrom, illustrated by Kayla Godey. Water is the first medicine, Nokomis told me. We come from water. 
and nourished us inside our mother's body as it nourished us here on Mother Earth. Water is sacred, she said. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. The river's rhythm runs through my veins, runs through my people's veins. My people talk of a black snake that will destroy the land. Boil the water, poison plants and animals, and wreck everything in its path. When my people first spoke of the black snake, They foretold that it wouldn't come for many, many years. Now the black snake is here. Its venom burns the land, courses through the water, making it unfit to drink. Take courage! I must keep the black snake away from my village's water. I must rally my people together. To stand for the water. To stand for the land. To stand as one against the black snake. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. It will not be easy. We fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. The winged ones, the crawling ones, The four-legged, the two-legged, the plants, trees, rivers, and lakes. The earth. We are all related. Tears like waterfalls stream down. Tracks down my face. Tracks down my people's faces. Water has its own spirit, Nokomis told me. Water is alive. Water remembers our ancestors who came before us, she said. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. We are stewards of the earth. Our spirits have not been broken. We are water protectors. We stand. The black snake is in for the fight of its life. The end. All right, my friends, now that we know different ways that we can protect the earth, let's play a little game and practice something that all of us can do every day when we're at home. And that is putting items in the right bins, whether it's the garbage bin that's black, the recycling bin that's blue, or the green compost bin. Miss Arissa went all around her room and found different items that can be sorted into garbage, recycling, or compost. As you can see, I have some flowers and leaves, plastic, cardboard, styrofoam. These are very different things that you may see every day in your home too. Now that we have our items, let's begin sorting. Don't forget, black is for garbage, blue is for recycling, and green is for compost. Now, what 
items can go in the garbage can. Well, we have used tissues. So tissues we may use when we blow our nose or wipe our hands. Tissues can also go in the green bin. For recycling, what can we put? Give you a hint, this item is the color brown. What is brown and can be put in the recycling? That's right, the cardboard. And what color bin is the recycling again? Blue, awesome. So let's put the cardboard in the blue recycling container. Next, we have green scraps of paper. Does the green paper go in the green bin or the recycling bin? That's right, paper and plastic go into the blue recycling bin. So we'll put our scrap pieces of paper in there along with these pieces of plastic straws. In the green bin, we can put items that are safe to put back into the earth. These are items like food scraps and peels, like banana peels, apples, oranges, and also organic materials like old leaves or flowers. So, now that you know what can go in the compost, what do we have that can go inside? That's right, so inside we can put organic materials and flowers and leaves are organic. They are plants and plants are okay to go back into the earth. So let's get the flower, put it in the green bin, and let's get the leaves and put them in the green bin. If they fit inside, stems and tree branches can go into the compost bin as well. Hmm, let's look at this white material. This is called styrofoam. Have you seen styrofoam before? Maybe it was a styrofoam cup or plate. It doesn't go in the green bin. Hmm, where do you think the styrofoam goes? The recycling bin or the trash bin? Nope, it doesn't go in the recycling bin either. Styrofoam goes straight into the garbage. Last but not least, let's look at our fruits. You got a red apple, an orange, and do you know what fruit this is? It starts with the sound ba ba ba. That's right, a banana. Now, where do fruit go? We know they don't go in the recycling because that's for paper and plastic. What do you think? Does fruit or any other food go in the trash bin or the compost? If you guessed compost bin, then you're right. Can you help me count? There's one fruit, two, and three fruits into the compost. Great job, my friends. I hope you had fun today with Miss Rissa, but now it is time to say goodbye. Can you help me? Let's clap our hands and sing goodbye to each other. We had a happy day. We had a happy day. Hi, oh, this I know. We had a happy day. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.